Hi guys, welcome back and thanks again for tuning in. Today's story continues on the topic of COVID-19 rules and regulations being broken after police swooped in on COVID rule breakers in East London and slapped up to £49,400 of fines on them in just one evening. Officers and council officials joined forces to break up illegal gatherings in the borough of Waltham Forest. A total of 36 people were reported for fines of up to £800, while two faced £10,000 penalties. The bust took place on Friday with police breaking up a party in Lee Bridge Road, Leighton, with revellers trying to hide in a stairwell and others trying to escape across an extension. There were 35 people at the illegal event and the two organisers were hit with £10,000 fines. Also during their patrol spotted a group inside a takeaway premises in Ho Street, Walthamstow, smoking shisha and drinking. Three people were issued with £200 fixed penalty notices. In another breach, 22 people were hit with fines of up to £800 after being found drinking at a venue in High Road, Leytonstone. Superintendent Wahid Khan, Metropolitan Police said, There can be no doubt in anyone's mind that we are in the throes of a deadly pandemic, and the fact that some businesses continue to function in direct contradiction of the current restrictions quite frankly beggars belief. Police officers and special constables are working closely with councils and other groups to make sure that rules are in place to save lives and protect the NHS are being followed. Please do your bit to help these officers who are working hard to protect you. Councillor Clyde Lokes, Deputy Leader of Waltham Forest Council said, By this point there can be no one claiming to be unaware of the serious situation we are in and the responsibilities we all have to try and stop the spread of COVID-19. I am disappointed to say the least to see that council officers, police colleagues and special constables are yet again having to risk their safety because of a small minority of people that do not give a damn about others. I know this is not an easy time for anyone. Businesses want to trade, children want to socialise and family and friends want to meet and be together. However, we all want to keep our most vulnerable friends, family and neighbours safe so they can celebrate with us. I know for sure that I want to keep my most vulnerable family members safe so let's try and do it all together guys. He went on to say that the vaccine is currently being rolled out and we can see the light at the end of what has been a long dark tunnel. It is simply irresponsible to jeopardise people's safety at this point. In total, £49,400 of potential FPNs were reported during the evening, alongside one penalty notice for possession of cannabis. Thank you for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe for my latest videos.